Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is 27, and we're beginning to wrap up our series on opportunities. And so I'm going to dive into that sub menu. And today I'm going to kind of give you a sneak peek at uh, something that is being actively labbed and worked on right now with a very small number of market centers uh, to hopefully make sure that we get it perfect before we release it. Not hopefully, we have to get it perfect before we release it for general population or general um, usage, and that is commissions. So I'm gonna walk through with you what that looks like by utilizing this opportunity. And because we do not have an offer submitted yet, we can't light up commissions. So we've seen in the past how to add a new offer. I'm gonna go through this very quickly just so I can get commissions to light up. And then we're going to walk through what commissions actually looks like. So I'm just going to put in a few pieces of information. And then once we accept that offer, we know that the commissions tab will light up and we can move forward from there. So we're going to put in the terms. When we put in the terms of the offer, it's important that we do get that final number correct because that does show up in commissions. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So. Um, especially with regards to the final sales price and the commission amount as well. So we're just going to throw all that in. We're going to skip agent analysis. We're going to save and we are going to accept this offer. And once we do, you see in my command, commissions will light up. Yours most likely will not. And that's okay. We're going to continue using green sheets until we get this perfect. And I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like here in the future. That way you are prepared once your market center goes live with commissions. So I'm going to click on this tab and you're going to see that it begins to look very similar to what green sheets look like. At the top, we have here the sales price, <clears throat> excuse me, the commission amount, and then what that commission is, and then the number of units involved in the transaction. As we scroll down, you'll see the contract date and close date. These are grayed out. It's actually taken from the opportunity. I actually didn't enter the contract date on the opportunity offer. Excuse me, it's pulled from the offer. I didn't put the contract date on the offer, so that's why that one is not pulled in, but you do see the close date. As we scroll down a little bit further, it shows that I am the agent. I'm getting full credit for one unit, and my commission amount is $9,000. We scroll down a little bit further, and you can see royalty, right? Royalty is taken out at a rate of 6%. That's $540. Company commission, right? Company dollar, if you will, is taken out at a rate of 30%. So that's $2,700 that needs to be paid. Now, these numbers will be updated. I'm not sure that these are 100% accurate right now. And yet these will get updated via your market center. So you'll kind of have an idea as commissions gets going, how much you've paid in and how much you have left to pay before you cap on both royalty and company dollar. Down here at the bottom, you'll see four possible deductions that are hard-coded, and that's E and O. If your market center requires you to pay E and O per transaction, that will be in here. And then, of course, you have the opportunity to donate to all of our causes, which is KW Cares, KW Kids Can, or providing a bold scholarship. You'll see my $9,000 commission once we subtract royalty and company dollar. You'll see down here at the bottom, the check amount is $5,760. You can see on the right hand side that's summarized by total commission, royalty removed, company dollar removed, how much is being paid to me as the agent, and how much is being paid to the office. So it's really straightforward if this is all that's involved in your transaction. Now we know sometimes things can get a little, right? It's not always this simple. So if for any reason you lowered your commission, you can change this commission rate and it will change the dollar amount that's being charged. So it's now $6,000, okay? So we can come down, scroll down a little bit. We need to make sure that this total commission amount here matches the commission rate here. So we're basically just gonna change this to $6,000. Once we do that, the error message goes away there at the top, okay? The other thing that might happen is I might be on a team where I am splitting commission. So if for some reason I get less than one full unit worth of credit, then I can add an additional agent. So I'm gonna say I'm on a team, we're still at 2%, 
let's put it back to 3%. It's more fun to split 3%, which we should all be getting, right? So the total commission is 9,000. I'm getting half of that, so I get 4,500. And now I can scroll down to the bottom, and this option was not here earlier, but now that I have reduced the unit count to less than one, I can now add an additional agent. So I can choose an agent there, and then it's gonna give me a list I can start typing in. So let's just see, uh, I'm gonna put in Randy, let's see, is it? There it goes. So it's gonna start pulling in agents from my market center, right? That I can then basically add to this transaction. So let's just say uh, BJ and I were on a team together and we split this. So I would put in BJ's name. I can click on, add, oops. Why did I not select him, BJ? There we go. And I can click on add, and it now has added BJ as the second agent to be paid. I got 0.5 unit. You can see that here. This doesn't have to be 0.5. It might be a 60-40 split. It might be a 30-70 split. Whatever that split is, you would just want to make sure that that was there. So I'm going to do 0.5. Actually, let me put in one, and then I've got to reduce that back down to 0.5. And we know that the full commission was 9,000, so I get 4,500. I'm gonna come down here and adjust BJ's to 4,500 as well. Now that we're both getting the amount, oops, I need to come back up to 0.5. And now you can see these error messages continue to kind of keep you on your toes. So you must make sure that both units add up to one, right, 0.5 plus 0.5. You must make sure that both commission amounts, oops, sorry, I'm not sure why that's down there both commission amounts add up to the total commission, right? So total commission is 9,000, the unit is one. You gotta make sure this unit and this commission plus this unit and this commission add up to the total commission and unit. Additionally, you have the opportunity to come down here at the bottom and I can add items. I can add them to my side or I could add them to BJ's side if I have a buyer's agent. Those items include, when you click the drop down box, you could put in a bonus. So for some reason you had new construction, maybe there's a bonus to selling agent, um, you know, anything along those lines. If there's a concession, right? So you made a concession from your commission to one side or the other to get the deal done, you would put that in. We have deduction. So write a deduction, um, depending on how your market center runs, that might be a deduction, for example, to your productivity coach. Uh, it might be an inside referral to your productivity coach, depending on how that works. Or if an agent in the market center referred you the transaction, that would be an inside referral. We also have outside referrals, so you could track that as well. Anytime you choose these different types, there's information that you have to put in, which would include the tax amount, the tax ID type, who it's getting paid to with description, address, and phone number. That way we make sure that that check gets properly mailed to the person that needs to receive it. So if you were to put in all of that information, I'm not actually gonna do that. Um, well, let's see if it'll let me put one in. And this might be, let's just put Coach Marty Miller. Here's our office address, here's my phone number, and here's my email. So once I put that in, oh, I didn't put in a dollar amount, so let's say 9,000, I received 10%, so that's 900, I would click on add. And now you'll see, okay, so there is, the check amount has reduced, and on the right-hand side, there's a other deduction for $900, okay? Again, depending on your market center, that might be considered an inside referral. So I could come in, click on inside referral, and inside referral is just gonna ask who is the agent, right? So we can start typing in. Once we type in a few, we should get a drop down box with all of the agents in the market center that we can go through and kind of select. So let's just say I was paying Yesna for this referral, and I'm gonna pay her, you know, $450 for the referral, whatever it might be. So then you'll see, okay, so now there's an additional deduction for the inside referral for Yesna located here of $450. Okay, so now I'm actually receiving $1,530, right? And there are additional pay to office or other deductions listed there. 
Once I map all of this out, and you can see it's not very difficult, once I have it all done, I would click on Submit. I'm not gonna do that now. You can see I actually cannot submit it. There's only a few agents in our market center that are able to do that right now. But once I click on Submit, that would send that commission request to my MCA for him or her to review. And once they had reviewed that, as long as I have a compliant set of documents and a compliant commissions tab, then obviously they would create the DA, they would load that into my document section, and actually it's pretty nice, now the MCA can actually put the DA ID number. So once I dive into this opportunity, if I see a DA ID number, that means it's been created and it's most likely in my document section, ready for me to send off to the title company in order for me to get paid. So that's a brief overview of what the commission tabs looks like. Please don't run to your MCA and say, how come we don't have commissions? It's being tested and it's being tested to the fullest extent because obviously we want to make sure this impacts a lot of people, not only the agents, but leadership and profit share and so many other things that so we've got to make sure that we get this correct. And yet I just wanted to show you briefly what that looks like. This is the end of green sheets as we know it once we get there. So hopefully uh, here relatively soon, once we have fully vetted and tested the process, agents will no longer have to submit green sheets. They can just put their information in offers. So something to look forward to once it has been fully vetted, fully determined that it works 100% and that there are no issues. Um, obviously we have an amazing MCA and MCA angel team that is vetting this process along with a significant number of agents in several market centers making sure it works as well. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to Janelle and Sonia and San Antonio, um, members of the uh, City View Market Center. They put on an amazing event today. Tech the Halls um, had, I think, near, near 100 people, near 100 agents come to the event and just put on a great mastermind with breakouts and um, raffle prizes. And they had a silent auction benefiting uh, KW Cares. A really, really great event. So Janelle, Sonia, fantastic job. To all the agents I met today in San Antonio, I really appreciated getting to know you. And uh, that was a fantastic event. Look forward to getting to know you better here in the future. So as always, guys, I will look forward to bringing you the next challenge in the morning and hope you have a fantastic night. Thanks so much.